Hey YouTube, it's ICU and welcome to the 103rd episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, now before I begin, I just wanna say that this video was delayed two days because I was actually in New York City for the week, so that's why it wasn't out on Friday. Also, for those of you who are wondering, you can still enter the new third generation iPad giveaway I'm doing in collaboration with the members of iPod Uplink. On this video, all you have to do is like it and leave a comment down below in the comment section with the keyword 100th, so that's 100th, no spaces. And just make sure to include something else in the comment besides just 100th so it won't get flagged as spam. Also, there will be additional information pertaining to the giveaway next episode. All right, and first up, I wanted to talk about the Apple versus Samsung legal war coming to a close. So the verdict has been passed down, essentially saying that Samsung knowingly and purposefully infringed on Apple's patents and mimicked various physical aspects of the iPhone. And because of this, the proceedings were concluded by a ruling stating that Samsung has to pay Apple over $1.05 billion for intentionally infringing on their intellectual properties. And of course, after that, an emergency meeting was held by Samsung executives to basically discuss the company, how they're going to handle things and also how they're going to conduct themselves after losing this case. And now the rest of the news today is primarily going to be focused around Apple's next generation iPhone, basically just different rumors and leaks pertaining to the device. So if you haven't seen previous episodes of this series, then I suggest you watch those and then come back to this video because it's somewhat of a continuation and the rumors and leaks in those videos are just as important as the ones in this episode. All right, and first it was rumored that AT&T was going to implement a vacation blackout from the 21st of September until the end of the month which is when the next generation iPhone is rumored to be released after the September 12th unveiling event. And of course that blackout matches up perfectly with the rumored Verizon vacation block, again scheduled for September 21st until the end of the month. However, 9to5Mac spoke with an official AT&T spokesperson who basically said the exact opposite, that they do not plan to implement a vacation block and basically that they're going to continue operating as they normally would. However, when speaking with various employees from AT&T, it said that they are actually going to up their staffing during that time from the 21st until the end of the month. Also, interestingly enough, to build on that, an internal T-Mobile memo was actually leaked, and it said that the carrier, T-Mobile, will start training their employees to sell against Apple's next generation iPhone starting on September 21st. So we have three different reports, which all point to the same date, September 21st, which has been rumored to be the official next generation iPhone release date. And basically, in the memo, it's saying that T-Mobile will better train their employees to sell the different phones that they offer, as opposed to the next generation generation iPhone and basically present their phones as being better than the iPhone. All right, next, the first proposed iPhone 5 accessory was actually leaked the other day. Basically, it's a USB charging accessory that incorporates both micro USB as well as the new rumored 8-pin connector. So when actually looking at the image close up, you can easily make out that there are indeed eight gold pins, which does match up with previous reports, again, suggesting that Apple will introduce a new redesigned, smaller, slimmer eight or nine pin connector. Next, while it's widely assumed that the new iPhone will come equipped with a modified A5X processor, similar to how both the iPhone 4 as well as the iPhone 4S adopted the same slightly modified underclocked processor as the new iPad releases. Because of course the third generation iPad is equipped with an A5X dual core processor with quad core graphics. However, according to this new report, the next generation iPhone's logic board was leaked with the actual processor attached to it. And while the images are low quality and small, you can easily make out that it has an Apple logo and says A6 on the top of the actual chip. However, again, as I just mentioned, the authenticity cannot be verified, unfortunately, because of the low image quality. So will the sixth generation iPhone continue the pattern of taking after the iPad by incorporating an A5X processor, or will it introduce a brand new quad core A6 processor? We'll just have to wait and see, of course, just be sure to stay tuned to Best Tech Info, as well as this series, Best Tech Info and Rumors, and I'll keep you guys fully updated. Next, as kind of a break between the iPhone 5 reports, references to a new iPad were actually discovered in the iOS developer logs. The developer of Instapaper discovered strings of code that are believed to be associated with the rumored iPad mini. So basically, you discovered two references to new devices, the iPad 2,5 as well as the iPad 2,6. Now, iPad 2,1 through iPad 2,3 are the names that are reserved for the iPad 2 Wi-Fi, GSM, and CDMA models. 
Also, iPad 2, 4 is the name that belongs to the semi-new iPad 2 model that comes equipped with the processor that implements a new die shrink process. So these new iPad 2, 5 and 2, 6 identifiers are believed to be associated with an iPad mini. And of course, iPad 3, X is the code given to the new third generation iPad. So this seems to be between the iPad 2 as well as the new Retina Display iPad, which leads to the conclusion that if released, an iPad mini-like device would feature similar components to what the iPad 2 offers. Again, and it's rumored to have a screen that measures around 7.85 inches diagonally. All right, next to go back to the iPhone 5 related news, Mac rumors actually had a video put together of what the next generation iPhone would look like with a four inch screen. Now, I'm sure as most of you know, the primary difference between the sixth generation iPhone and previous models is expected to be an increased size in the screen. However, it's not expected to be increased overall, only in length, which would actually give it an aspect ratio closer to 16 to nine, which of course is the 1080p HD standard. And while the resolution is rumored to be 1136 by 640 and not 1920 by 1080. It will be again almost exactly the same aspect ratio as 1080p. So of course with that in mind Mac rumors put together an exceptional video of what they believe an iPhone with a screen closer to that 16 to 9 aspect ratio will look like in action. And to conclude the news for this episode a Taiwanese website posted numerous images as well as a video of what they're claiming to be the headphones that will be packaged with Apple's next generation iPhone. So the first thing you'll notice right off the bat is that these headphones are extremely different from the headphones that are packaged with the iPhone 4S, which of course have maintained the same basic design since the original iPhone was released in 2007. And a closer look at the cable reveals the tagline designed by Apple in California, assembled in Vietnam. Furthermore, the website has a reputable past of obtaining and leaking pre-release devices and various Apple prototypes. However, the authenticity of this leak cannot be verified, and the apparent lack of volume controls near the earbud certainly doesn't add merit to these redesigned headphones. All right, so that's it for this video. Of course, don't forget to rate it up if you liked it and to be entered into the giveaway. Leave a comment in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I release new videos. For the question of the day, let me know down below in the comment section, what do you guys think about these new redesigned headphones? And do you think the next generation iPhone will indeed feature an A5X processor or a new completely redesigned quad core A6 processor? Again, just let me know down below or on best tech info. Of course, to be updated more often, don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me to one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time, this is ICU, signing out.